welcome back to my channel. This is Chris Connected and I am Chris. If you are a re returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe. Cl click on the like if you like my video and ding that bell so you can get notifications of when I upload the next video. I upload on a weekly basis, sometimes multiple times a week if you're lucky. And yeah, so this is my weight loss journey and I'm here to give you an update. So, the last time that I did a video, I weighed in, I think, at 209, and I have seen um, 210, 211, back to 210, 209, um, like, within that time frame, and I weighed in this morning at 209.8. So, I am considering myself on a plateau. Yay, right? The socks. This sucks. This sucks. Um, so I have been saying that when I hit a plateau, I was going to go full keto. And I am not sure I am ready to do that. Um, because I have been eating a lot of protein, and I don't think that's quite um, agreeing with my body. So I actually want to decrease my protein by a little bit and increase my fruits and veggies and see what happens but I don't think that's going to break my plateau. And so that leads me to where I am now. Um, I am actually downstairs in my basement. I have a couple of rooms down here, and I wanted to show them to you. Okay, guys, so... This is um, a wall that I painted, and um, I really kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool. One of my friends said, gee, it really looks like you ran out of paint. And she's like a best friend, so, you know, thanks a lot. But anyway, so I'm going to start on this wall, and I wanted to show you my little um, dark and dirty secret. Um, in my house, I have um, this stuff. So... Um, this is my, um, I'm going to call it my basement entertainment center. It's got my TV. I've got a VCR DVD combo. Yes, I still have VHS tapes. Don't judge. And um, my stereo. And I also have my exercise DVDs and exercise VHS tapes. And I have exercise bands. And I have a weighted exercise bar. And a pull-up bar and sit-up bar combo thingy with um, paper to show what the exercises are. Oh, but wait, I'm not done. I also have an exercise ball that I can use for exercise. Yeah, um, that's my little CD collection. And I still have cassette tapes. Again, don't judge, because my stereo also plays CDs and cassettes. Yeah, I know. What can I say? So this is the major part of my exercise room. It is like a total gym. I'm sure you guys have seen one of those. If you haven't, you can Google it and see what it is. But basically, it's a weight, a weight room in one machine. Um, and I have had this for over a year. This past December made a year that I have had this machine. I have never, ever used this machine. My son has used it a couple of times to play on it, and he thinks it's great fun but I have never used it. Um, I even have the exercises that you would do on the machine. Um, and yeah, I've never done them. On another note, though, to share like an upside with you guys, this is a medal that I got for finishing um, The Dirty Girl in 2017. Um, it's a mud run. Don't think, like, you know, nasty thoughts or anything. It's a mud run for women, just saying. And then this is from my very, very first 5K that I did. It was an inflatable 5K. Um, and then I don't have it down here, but my third thing is a T-shirt that I got um, for finishing another 5K. That was in 2016. Um so, yeah, that's part of my dirty little secret, too, is that I've run three different 5Ks. My last one, though, was this one, so that was two years ago, which is the last time that I was exercising. 
Um, yeah. So I'm going to, um, yeah. So that's my dirty little secret. I have had all of this in my basement for a while now. Um, not being used because I am scared to use them. And the reason is, is that the last time I was exercising, um, I was exercising like a fiend. And it was like five days a week, sometimes twice a day. And I was stuck on a plateau for a year. No matter what I did, I was stuck on that stupid plateau for a year. So I stopped exercising completely and I gave up. And um, that was a couple of years ago. And of course, I gained weight because that's what happens when you eat a bunch of crap and you don't exercise. Um, so I am kind of at this point now with this current plateau that I need to do something. And I'm pretty certain my body isn't going to just adjust um, by changing up my diet a little bit. So I think the only thing that I can do at this point is start exercising. And I'm really, really, like, afraid to do that, guys, because I'm afraid that I'm going to start exercising my butt off again, and it's not going to get me anywhere, that I'm just going to stay stuck. And, um, yeah, I don't want to be doing it for nothing, you know? Um, you, when you're exercising and dieting or, you know, eating healthier, you want to see results. That's why you're doing it. Um, and, you know, in all honesty, yes, you know, I do feel better when I exercise and I do feel better when I eat healthier, but, you know, it, like deep down, we are eating healthier and we're exercising because we want to get smaller. <laughs> like, you know, that's where we're at and that's what we're looking for. We want to get smaller, whether it's the number on the scale or the inches on the measuring tape or the clothes in your closet. Um, you want to be smaller, and, you know, I, I got to break through this plateau because it's really starting to get me, and I know that if I don't do something about it now, I'm going to give up, and I don't want to give up um, because that's all I've been doing my whole life is giving up um, on, on myself and on dieting, and I don't want to do that anymore. So I would love to hear in the comments if you guys have any um, tips and tricks that you've been doing if you're dieting and exercising because also when I start exercising I eat and eat and eat and I eat a lot and my body just kicks in the metabolism um, and it just wants me to eat it doesn't burn anything it just wants me to eat um, and you know I can do everything as far as um, keeping healthy foods in the house and not having anything bad in the house, etc., etc. But it doesn't matter. I'll just eat whatever's in the house. Um, if my body is telling me that I'm hungry or I'm feeling hungry, I'm just going to eat whatever I've got. And I always go over my calories and it's, it's just a mess. And it's like running in place, you know. You're exercising to lose weight, but you're eating because you're exercising and then you're just not going anywhere. Um, so... Yeah, um, I do want to start exercising again um, because I do have um, a really good um, cardio kickboxing, um, I think it's a DVD, no, VHS, right, like I said, don't judge, um, but it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed doing it before. So I kind of want to get back to doing that. I know I definitely need some cardio. Oh, gosh. The lighting is horrible. I, like, double chinning the whole video. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, like, tips, tricks, um, anything that you've got that might be able to help me out, that would be awesome. And, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Like, everybody struggles, and, you know, I'm not giving up because... I refuse to. Um, I am worth more than giving up, and so are you. Whatever you've got going on, I know there are some of you that I am following that you have either plateaued as well, and you're kind of stuck, 
or you've kind of gotten into a routine and you're ready for like something else um, to make it feel fresh again or whatever. Um, I think a lot of us are in that place right now where we're just ready to change something. Um, so let me know what you got. Hopefully, um, you know, we can help each other out as far as that goes. Um, and again, thank you for subscribing if you're a current subscriber. Sub Why is that so hard to say? Um, if you are not, please subscribe, follow my journey, and um, I will see you next time. Stay connected. Bye, guys. <laughs>